Next up in our small batch two hop series is beer number five. This is Cascade Centennial with Vienna Mall. Welcome back everybody. So today we are gonna have the first tasting of beer number five in our two hop series which is Cascade Centennial Two Row with Vienna Malt. What we're doing is starting at the beginning, we've done a whole bunch of smash beers. Now we're moving it up to maybe like uh, one grain with two hops. They'll all have two hops. Uh, it'll vary where we put them. We'll see how they do. We'll compare a whole bunch of them. But what I like to do with the first tastings, let's taste them on their own. Then once we're done, we'll, I'll bring them all back and then we'll taste them all side by side. So when I say all as of right now, six of them are ready. So once I review beer three, or I'm sorry, four, five, and six, I'll bring one, two, and three. We'll open them and uh, review all of them as I've already done beers one, two, and three. If you have not checked that out, I'll add a card or go check out the Two Hot playlist. So again, this is a uh, beer number five, Cascade Centennial. Two row is two pounds, four ounces then of two row, then four ounces of Vienna malt. Hop schedule, excuse me. 0.25 ounces of Cascade at 60 minutes, 0.25 ounces of Centennial at 10, 0.25 ounces of Cascade at 5 minutes. Dry hop, 0.25 ounces of each one three days into fermentation. This is a 1.25 gallon batch going into the carboy, so essentially a one gallon batch. Uh, this was bottled on 830, came in at 7.51%. This did use the Mr. Beer one and a half gallon carboy. Carbonation tablets, Cooper's carbonation tablets were used on this. So let's go ahead and get this into a glass. Let's see what we think. This ABV is, I think, the highest out of all of them. Uh, like I said on beer number four, so the one that's using the cherry wood smoked malt. Um, for these couple, I wanted to keep that base malt the same. Uh, if you were shooting for an ABV, a different AV, ABV, uh, you would probably lower that. So like on this, you could do two pounds of two row, then do the four ounces of the Vienna malt to combine for uh, 2.4 ounces, or two pounds, four ounces of total grain. But I wanted to keep the grain the same because that's the test. The first one used two pounds, four ounces of grain, and I wanted to keep that and just add to it. Uh, so we'll have to see how that turns out. So on this one, we don't really have a head. We do have a couple bubbles on there, um, white that I can see. Let's go ahead and check the color. Very bright yellow, lots of bubbles, very cloudy, uh, very hazy, almost looks like a, I almost wanna say a watered down New England IPA. Doesn't have that body uh, for uh, New England, as I would say. Somebody would call this a hazy pale ale or a hazy IPA. I guess because of the ABV, you're gonna, almost call it a double because it's over 7.5 uh, in my eyes. Um, so let's go ahead and, and get the smell, see what we get. A little bit of floral. Sweet malt. I get, I get a combination, like I was saying, of that floral, that citrus is there, there's some sweet malt, but it's almost like all three or four of those are combining with a touch of pine. Like I get more pine out of this one than I have all the other ones. Yeah, yeah, a little, it, it's very faint. For all these having pretty much the same hop schedule, 
and going from the same bag of hops. This one is very faint and I've done a uh, Vienna beer before. Um, we did that with the Cascade uh, full Vienna and you got that toasted bread smell. I do not get that toasted bread, but only four ounces. It might be hard to fight through the, the two pounds, four ounces of that two row. You might have to up that a little bit if you want that toasted bread character in there. Let's go ahead and taste, see what we get. I get more lemon, lemon, citrus, thicker beer. I don't know why. Like lemon, citrus, a little um, grapefruit bitterness in the very back. Citrus malt in the aftertaste. That's weird. Yeah, thinner beer. It's meh. Um, uh, some floral. Now that my palate's warming up to it, um, aftertaste does have some floral, which I would expect because we did use Cascade up front. So that's going to be in there longer. But the amount of like lemon citrus that I'm getting is a lot more than what I was getting on the other ones. Touch of alcohol in the aftertaste. I think that's probably because there's not enough body to back that up. Um, all these are using the same amount of grains, let's just say. Uh, and this being over 7.5, 7.51, um, it does have that alcohol bite in the back. Nothing burning, but it does let you know it's there. Yeah. I can't get over this color, though. All these beers use uh, this the hops from the same bag. <clears throat> I got a pound of each, and for... At least the two row, I've got a 50 pound bag of that. So all that is the same across the board. And that color is totally different than the rest of them. Hazy could be the v Vienna. I was actually thinking it was going to be a little darker. It almost matches the picture on the Beersmith sheet pretty, pretty well. So I guess it did come out there. Yeah, not bad. Not the best. I would want it, it that I think that lemon citrus is a little too much i was hoping for more of that toasted malt man to come out uh it, it's almost like uh that needed to be upped maybe double it just to see what that produces but i do think i would double it and i would back down on the two row uh abv is going to go higher i'm guessing it's going to be 7.758 percent if you add another four ounces maybe to this so i would back uh the two row down to two ounce or two pounds and then use half a pound of vienna but yeah overall that's why we're doing this we're testing we're learning to see what we want and then from there we will make a better beer so if you like this video thumbs up if you don't thumbs down make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out and until next time happy brewing